What's up, YouTube? This is Rob Fertility Company, guys. We got great another market, man. We are again, man, today making some great, great money, man. Today was the market was a little slow, but we still have great opportunities out there on the market. So I hope you guys are making some money because there are always opportunities there, guys. Don't think because the market is slow, right? They're not opportunities. They are there, but you got to be patient enough to always find them, right? So I'm going to go over quick to what we trade today. And of course, what are we looking for tomorrow? Man, NVIDIA is going crazy, so I'm going to touch that topic in a minute. But let me tell you, man, don't be missing out these bankers. One of them that we played a while ago, uh, I mean, it was M-I-N-M. This stock we traded a while ago, right? We ended up in squeeze for like $3 to $7. Now, on the Alpha community, don't miss this, don't miss this trade because I'm telling you, most of my setups are being dropped only on the Alpha community, right? I alert, you can see here, M-I-M-M, I added to someone 4.55. This was alerted yesterday at 3.53 p.m. But as you can see here on today's price action, we ended up, you know, going to 5.14, give us a nice profit. So, of course, always, you know, scale out, you know, stay green, do your best to do that, right? But I just want to talk to us because I'm still thinking that this has more potential, right? Every time that you can see here, it's been consolidating today because with a higher high, which it tells me that we could potentially have more room to run. So just keep an eye on there. But again, if you don't want to miss the setups, you know, because I'm telling you, it's always dropping here. Not only this, my guidance, because you see here, I follow up with my trades, telling my students what I do, what am I selling, what am I buying, right? All the type of guidance that you want to have for your trading. As you can see here, today, that's when I was, you know, guiding my shares for 70 for 80 scaling up $5, right? Almost is staying green, doing your best, right? But of course, today it was a little slow. That's why patience is required, guys. Remember, the only the, the patient one is going to be the one that's going to be successful, right? So today, spy was a little choppy, and this is why you never want to trade this type of transaction, right? <clears throat> you can see most of the day, uh, spy was flat. You can see your EMAs are flat, your BWAP is flat. So the small pops, small drops are pretty much for scalps, and that's how you get scalps are very, very low in risk reward. I don't really scalp those things because it ain't worth it. Uh, towards the end of the day, SPY ended up dropping. I have my levels almost as always set up, but you know they didn't trigger. I didn't trade towards the end of the day because I don't, I, you know, trade ODT contracts. So of course, I'm not gonna risk you know the last thirty minutes, or, you know, an hour or so. But of course, you know, SPY ended up rocketing today because we have earnings of the media doing pretty good. So man, you know, it seems like it, and you know, I think that tomorrow because we have this, you know, great well, earnings of the media. We might have some type of a continuation tomorrow, right? So keep an eye on that one. I think in a spy, if it breaks 500, which is a strong take like a level, guys, we could potentially go and run those previous highs, which is 5 or 3.50, right? So look at that. We're going to see this uh, this transaction today and, of course, you know, tomorrow pre-market. And we're going to assess these levels like always. Of course, don't miss, the, don't miss out those levels, guys, because it's all about reacting to them you see i have my levels in the morning you can see here i drop it somewhere else. i also have tesla tesla play up pretty nice right as you can see here my tesla levels i had my y94.31 20 ema break for close and if we go to tesla chart today we were able to capitalize on tesla calls if you were paying attention as you can see here market open although it's very risky to uh you know take a trade at opening is you are understanding your indicators, right? How to execute a trade with proper risk management, right? You can make money. So once he broke my level 194, as you can see here, the moment he closed above BWAP or the 20 EMA, you got the buying pressure on your bottom bar so you can see in your bottom. It's all about execute, taking the trade. If you don't want to risk too much money, guys, you can size him properly. Remember, 25% of your position, get in there, you know, puts, you know, get your feet wet and still make some profits, right? We minimizing your risk. So Tesla was ended up going to 199. Of course, it didn't broke 200 because 200 is a strong cycle like a level, but that provides you a nice gain, right? We're talking about from 194 to 199. That's almost $5, $5 move. I mean, that's a nice 40, 50 percent gain. That's more than enough. You know, people, we are trying to keep at 5, 10 percent daily. So you might have a 4, 50 percent gain, right? You're pretty much done for a whole week. Regardless, Tesla, you can see here, still fade up throughout the day. And it still seems to, you're not even not even reacting too much to what it is doing. And if we look on the major time frames, right, as you can see here, we're pretty much consolidating, right? We haven't, I, you know, we didn't, we didn't flush down today. We're still above this 190 area. So just because we might have the market green tomorrow, I'm just going to keep an eye on the, on the resistance, guys. But remember, 197.51 resistance needs to break. If that happens, I think we're going to see 200 seconds tomorrow. Maybe we have a rally recovery. We might see 206, which is a 200 May, right? Maybe we're going to end up filling the gap because we didn't fill the gap last time. 
So keep in mind that, guys, and of course, anything, anything is possible, but so far the setups are looking bullish for tomorrow. But remember, be ready for both sides because anything can happen. You know, tomorrow morning sell off is possible. People taking profit is possible as well. So be ready for both of this. And Nvidia, your favorite, guys. Crazy, crazy, crazy move, right? Look at this. All day flat. And Nvidia ended up even having like a little drop on intraday trading. You know, it started pretty much down trading all day. You know, it went from almost seven six eighty three as low as six sixty two, and look at that, almost seven forty six right now. Right, I was just checking it out. What is happening with Nvidia? And seems a bit. I mean, remember, let me talk to you guys about this, and I tell you guys this: they need to like super, super beat this earnings because the expectations on this were super high. So it made sense to them that if they beat this, then of course they were gonna rock it, right? So I just took in some data, and it seems that their uh, revenue is at twenty four billion, right? Which is of course you know it's two two percent more. You see versus the 22.16 billion estimates. Of course, the bid estimates, that's what they needed to do in order to go higher. You see the Q, Q4 data center revenue is at 18.4 billion versus their visible uh, estimate as well. So overall, the earnings has been great. And of course, I always am against the gambling guys. I tell you, I don't gamble earnings. I do play shares. I did sell my shares today because I tell you guys, I'm not, I'm not a gambler, right? I do make smarter decisions, informed decisions, but I'm never going to gamble earnings, regardless who, regardless. Everybody twitch their own. But as long as we can keep these gains, you know, these gains, you know, coming out, we'll see you guys. But as far as what we can look tomorrow, guys, the spike today, as you can see, we ended up going to 746. So we pretty much tapped previous highs, right? So if tomorrow we have this continuation and then we do break 746.11, we might go higher. And again, we might even make new highs since we're already, you know, making this huge move. We will see, guys, how this performs tomorrow. So keep an eye. Again, the levels are a little uh, unstable in this case because we don't have clear support, clear resistance, right? We're just making levels. So we're going to have to be on top of these things tomorrow, I guess. No, this is the ticket I'm talking to you guys. This actually surprised to myself, man. And this remembers to Vera. If you guys know what I'm talking about, Vera, we trade with nothing. We never $17. Ended up dropping to $27. And ended up going even to like $46, $47. Insane gain. Now, this stock already make a decent move and it's still having some potential, right? First of all, and again, don't miss the trades, guys, because we are dropping these bangers in here. I did trade Iowa. And this is the ticket I want you guys to look. Iowa. You know, IOB, Iowa, IOBA. I tried day trade this today, right? I took, you know, 15.45, as you can see here. I've been guiding my students, you know, 15.60. When they're moving up, $16. I ended up getting my trust, $16. And look at this thing right now on after hours, man. It ended up going as far as six seventeen dollars on the spike. And look at that tape, man. It's huge green. Now, you wonder what is happening with the stock. First of all, this stock, is, you know, their flow is 230, you know, 237 million, which is a thick flow. But this biotech company, when they have great, great, uh, Earnings, no, no, sorry, no earnings, but, you know, data, they just, you know, flow doesn't mean anything. You know, the stock will still make a move. So today it made almost like 25, 20% move, which is a decent move. But this stock, I think we're going to see more out of this. And let me explain you why, right? I was looking on the data. What really happened? First of all, they receive, a, you know, the FDA, they, they receive this accelerate approval for the advanced meloma, which is one of their main products, right? So when this happened, and let's, let's show you in the chart right now, look at the data chart. When this happened, Iowa went from $9 to almost $12, right? So that's almost, you know, another 20%, 20, 30%. And today ended up making that $12 move to almost 16, almost 17, right? And this is only the beginning because the fact that we broke the daily chart with, a, you know, with this huge bullish continuation, right? Making higher highs with the buyers increasing, you know, increasing. Just look at the daily. It's 81 RSI. So this has still much more room to go. Look at the weekly. It's still 81, 81.87, 82 today, right? We zoom out, and again, just, just by looking at the next levels that we have, we easily, easily, I mean, if we do have this buyer continuation, we can see 17s, 19s, and even $20 plus, right? So right now, sky is the limit. It's all about how buyers are going to react. So far, it's doing great, but I believe this is a good, good, good swing, swing, swing stock. Again, nothing is financial advice. Please, Mike UDD, I'm just going to share you my opinion on this. But looking at this as well, so this happened, you know, the emergency approval happened on the 60. On the 20, right, they received the approval, the, you know, the full approval of the manufacturer of this truck. So what does this mean? That the fact that they are now that are approved to manufacture this, this is going to go into the market, which is going to get revenue to them, right? More money was going to happen. Stock was going to go up, right? So 
That's why you got to keep an eye on these things, guys. And not only this, because big people, you remember, follow big money for a reason, right? They have enough cash. They have 380.02 million cash. They don't need to serve like an offering to you know, raise cash because they have plenty. And as I was looking, this is the big dogs. Look at this guy. They started about $45 million this morning on um, Iowa. So he is not, I mean, he won't sell for pennies. He knows that the growth is here. You know, we have the data. They, they literally, the drug is getting into the market. The growth is going to be crazy. So I'm, I'm loading up to as well because I bought some shares as well. So we'll see how this goes. But also look at, not only that, you have to always look backtrack what the, the previous news. Not only this guy, but previous people was loading up on this. If you look at the news, there were some insiders, even the director. Uh, I saw on the news here that the director load up as well. So, you know, management usually from these companies, they tend to know what's going to happen to the to stocks before coming out, right? Because they know the data. They know how possibly the, uh, the you know, the stock is going to react to to the market. So, you know, there are some, you know, race PTs. We have 18 PT, 19 PT, 25 lot of PT, which is very achievable with this, you know, with this, uh, uh with this moment. So here it is. This morning, the director bought 250,000 shares of the stock, right? There's a lot of money there, right? So I'm telling you, this is cool have potential Vera movement, which is, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. Let me tell you, Vera did grow with time, right? Didn't didn't one day. And I'm going to show you the chart to understand what happened. When Vera got up to 17 to 20, you can see how many days it took for go from 20s to 46, right? Almost two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, almost fifteen days, almost seventy days. So half on, right? Like or let's say around twenty months. From seventeen, which is the gap, or twenty, which is the gap, to grow to pretty much peaking at the 40, 48, 6. So similar situation here is what I'm aiming on Iowa, right? It's not gonna happen overnight. Might have pullbacks, sure. We might wanna run in those pullbacks. I'm probably gonna add the dip if there's a pullback because I have no Thing, nothing is really telling me to we're not going to have a great growth. So keep an eye on this. All right, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. So guys, you know, I'll always send me a DM, tag me in the chat, drop me a comment in the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We have more to talk, more, you know, more ideas, more setups. I'm going to keep you guys updated on this one as well. And of course, if you want to know more about these, the setups, what we're doing every single day, you know what to do, man. The link is in the description. If you want to join the Alpha community, I want to see you guys there. This is where we are all day, you know, banking, you know, probably guidance. I went live today as well from a live trading too. We got a lot of things, classes. Man, this is the whole package here, right? So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe and let's let's crash this week. All right, let's take it. Bye. What's up, guys? This is Wild for Trading. Coming out yesterday. If you guys want to start making some money and achieving those goals that you're not afraid of, you guys are looking for, you need to start investing in yourself. You need to start investing in knowledge. All right, so join me to the Alpha community. I'll be there with you guys guiding yourself to the market and i hope to see you guys tomorrow on the market because i'm gonna get you guys get some money all right so see you guys